Hi, House Church leaders. Wanted to let you know about a little issue that we're experiencing here at our community. Not an issue in a bad way, but just a, an issue that can become an opportunity for us if we'll take it. Right now, as it stands, we currently have 16 house churches. Uh, we launched a whole bunch in the spring, and those filled up almost instantaneously, which is wonderful news, and thanks be to God for that. If you take the number of house churches that we actually have, and you multiply that by the average number of people that can belong to a house church, you get something in the ballpark of 250 people, which is wonderful. The problem with that is that we have around 400 or so people coming to our gatherings on a Sunday night these days. So that leaves a group of people about the size that Bloom used to be about two years ago um, without any opportunity to connect to our community. Now, as we think about potential solutions to this, um, you guys as house church leaders are actually on the front lines of a potential solution. Here's what you can do to help us. All of you, I'm guessing, and if not all, then at least most of you have someone or some couple in your group that has the spiritual maturity and the leadership gifting and even the bandwidth in their schedule enough to pull off leading a house church with Bloom if they were given the opportunity. If you have those people, people with demonstrated spiritual maturity, they connect well with people, and, uh, and it seems like they've got the ability to sort of lead a group discussion, et cetera, et cetera. If you have those people in your group, I'm asking you to email rusty at bloomchurchdenver.com and let him know. We need to know who those people are. Because the truth is, uh, the less committed we are to fanning out as a community, to spreading out and giving other people a chance to lead, the more we actually thwart the growth of the body of Christ in our midst. And by growth, I don't just mean numerical growth. But I actually mean the growth of people's own ability to lead. So there are some of you who, because of, you know, you have those people in your group who could lead. If we don't give them an opportunity to lead, we're actually stifling the sort of outgrowth of this beautiful gift that the Holy Spirit has given them for the church. We need to set the gifts of God free for the people of God. And you can help us do that. So if you've got people like that, please let us know. Now, I, I know that some of you instantly when you hear this, what you think is, no, I could never do that. I love my group too much. You're not touching these people. Get your dirty hands off of them. Uh, if that's what you think, <laughs> then I just want to encourage you that it'll actually be what we have discovered is that it's actually for the good of our groups and the good of our communities if we give people away. What we've discovered over the years is that there are a couple potentially negative situations for house churches. One negative situation is that you have too many people passing through a house church. And we found that this has the effect sometimes of destroying the culture. There's not enough continuity in your house church to make it good. But another potentially bad thing that could happen to your house church is that you have a whole bunch of people that flow into the house church. And then once they're there, you kind of lock it down. And you become the closed uh, circle, the fortress of solitude that nobody can come into and nobody can come out of. And that actually destroys the flow of life too. It's good for us to see people off and to welcome new people in. That's part of how the freshness of Christ Jesus comes to us. And so you're giving people an opportunity to lead house churches or giving them permission uh, to walk out of your midst. I think that's actually for the benefit of your house church. Ultimately, you'll see new people come in. It'll give other people a chance to be on the cutting edge of planting a house church, which is always fun. Every good uh, really planting house churches out of existing house churches has everything to commend itself to us. So if you know people like that, I'm encouraging you to email Rusty right now um, and let us know who these people are so that we can follow up with them, gauge their interest level, et cetera, et cetera. And hopefully before the end of the semester, we can plant a few more house churches and sort of deal with this issue of just having too many people who aren't able to connect to our house churches. That's all for now. Uh, we love you very much. We're so grateful for everything that you give to our community. You, um, you guys are a huge part of the reason that Bloom is as wonderful as it is, that there is just this network of pastors and shepherds in our midst who are taking care of people and creating a space for people to experience life in Christ Jesus in a deep way. So we're really, really thankful for you. Grace, mercy, and peace be with you, as always.